Okay, so which is better? Spending $500 on a standard Predator and modifying it yourself with billet parts, maybe a cam, slide carburetor, or a $500 Ghost, $300 for the engine and around $150 for the accessory kit, the header pipe, uh, air filter. So I have two Azusa bikes, pretty much identical frames, early model Azusa bikes, both with five inch tires. Both have the rear slick and the treaded front tire. So they're pretty much identical frames. One has a 212 Ghost, and the only modification to the Ghost is a billet flywheel. I added the billet flywheel to get rid of the 6,000 RPM rev limiter. Definitely woke it up. If you haven't watched the billet flywheel video, go check it out. So the Ghost comes with a cast rod, cast iron flywheel with glued on magnet and plastic cooling fins, a 252 cam, and a PZ22 carb. And then the other bike pretty much has the same amount in the engine, has a billet rod, billet flywheel, 252 rattlesnake cam, slide carb, probably around $500, including the cost of the engine. Both of these bikes have a five to one gear ratio, 12 on the max torque clutch and 60 on the rear sprocket. So they're both identically geared. So I think it'll make a pretty good comparison. So I'm gonna do zero to 30 and top speed with both these bikes. And we'll see which one is better, to spend $500 on a Ghost or $500 on a standard Predator and add your own parts. Both these bikes are running a real short rear tire with a 5 to 1 ratio, so they'll max out really quick on top speed. But they'll turn in some decent 0 to 30 times for sure. Thing pretty quick kind of hard to keep the front end on the ground these little bikes okay 3.37 first zero to 30 with the standard 212 predator with the billet parts let me see if i can back that up 3.37 Second attempt, standard 212 Predator, 0 to 30. Okay, 3.19, 3.19. So let me do a top speed. Top speed run, standard Predator, Azusa frame. Okay, let's see what it did for top speed. All right, did a top speed with these super short tires, uh, 48.60. Yeah, these things max out quick with these short tires and a five to one ratio. So now let me go test the Ghost, zero to 30 in top speed and we'll see how it compares. So the blue Azusa bike with the standard 212 Predator did 48.60 top speed and 3.19, zero to 30. So definitely quick for just a little frame and those short tires. So anyway, I'm gonna pull the header pipe off of this bike and I'm going to install it on the Ghost, just to make things fair. Slap this pipe on here. I'm 
Okay, so there we go. Let's go do 0 to 30 top speed. Okay, see so what we did for the first zero to 30. 3.85, 3 3.85, zero to 30. Let me see if I can beat that or back that up. Zero to 30, second attempt, go. Okay, 3.78, a little bit quicker that time. 3.78. So now let me do top speed. Top speed, we have to beat 48.60. The Ghost is definitely valve spring limited because it floats the valves easily, especially with these short tires. It gets right up on the uh, max RPM really quick. All right, we did a top speed of 41.91. Oh yeah, it's definitely valve train limited. So on both these bikes, I could have geared the bikes to definitely get them in the 50 or 60 mile an hour range, but I wanted to do a 5.1 ratio with those real short tires to get right to the limitations of the valve springs or get right to the limitations of the engines. So the $500 Predator did 0 to 30 and 3.19 and a top speed of 48.60. And I think it was turning around probably 7,800 RPM, 77, 78, with that real short tire. It's a 10 and a half or 10 inch tall tire. So the Ghost did 3.78, 0 to 30. So a little over half a second slower and 41.91, about six miles an hour slower. So the Ghost is definitely limited by valve springs. So the next thing for the Ghost is valve springs and a billet rod to be able to handle the RPM potential of the new valve springs. So for $500, it seems like you can definitely get more out of a standard Predator with billet parts and a slide carburetor 